back. It is what we are all talking about today. Monday, teachers will rally at the Capitol in support of increased funding for education and a long-term solution for education funding here in our state. And joining us is the Oklahoma Education Association, Alicia Priest. We thank you for coming back and being with us for another segment. We've gotten so many questions. So many people have uh, so many opinions and questions about this topic. Obviously, it affects our children and so many people across the state. Let's take a question here from Lisa. She says, this is just a Band-Aid fix. I think one of the things teachers are most concerned for is funding for their classrooms. When is that going to happen? Well, Lisa, Lisa gets it. This is about making sure that our students have what they need in the classroom to be successful um, and to love learning. I mean, no child uh, uh, leaves school and thinks, um, wow, I really enjoyed that test that day. Right. But they look back on things that they've done. Um, and so we have to have the materials to make that happen for our kids. Boris asks this. He says, where is the money from the state lottery and the tribes of Oklahoma that have been giving millions to Oklahoma for the education system? Well, we've been getting those funds and we have been cut 28% of our state funding uh, over the last 10 years. So the money that the lottery is bringing in is coming, but we've been giving away so many taxes, in, uh, corporate tax giveaways in our state, that if you look at our state budget, what the Tribal Gaming Compact and Lottery have brought in, the um, corporate tax giveaways have about equaled that out. Just got a question here from Jerry on Facebook. It says, with the walkout looming, why are they willing to sacrifice education but not sports? Also, how will these lost days be made up? And what about sports? What happens to kids as they're in the middle of their seasons now? So districts, superintendents, and boards decide what they want uh, that to look like. Um, sports are an extra duty contract not within the school day mm -hmm. and so um and so in order to pay the coaches and thing and uh other people um they have to have those sport sporting events so um that affects kids and so that is a district by district decision and uh, i'm getting another question here from carol who says um let's ask the oea president uh, many longtime community advocates for education are concerned that, quote, striking or walking out as opposed to a thank you for advocacy rally appears terribly ungrateful. How do you handle that um, gratitude for what's already come through in this bill, but that it's not quite enough? I guess it's not what you all were asking for. And then the fact that it passed the Senate, there was kind of this celebration. But then during the day, the next day, funding was removed. Right. So the legislature hasn't fulfilled their promise um, many times over uh, with funding public education. So there is not just a distrust from educators with our legislators, but a dis distrust across our state uh, with what our legislators will do in fulfilling the promises that they made. And, and that came uh, to a, a big show yesterday with we passed and we said, thank you, this is historic. And then the very next day before the ink was even dry, they backed out some of the funding and didn't replace it. So until everything uh, is passed, signed, sealed, and, and we understand that they're not gonna fall back on, uh, on what their word is, then we will uh, stay out and hold their feet to the fire. What haven't we talked about this morning in these questions that you wanna make sure people know about out there? What, what is something else that, that is on your mind this morning? You know, this is about our kids. Um, over my 24 year career as an educator, uh, I've seen class sizes grow to ridiculous levels so that we can't give the one-on-one -on -one attention that our students need. Uh, I've seen teachers have to take second and third jobs, support professionals, uh, rotate in uh, and out quickly of, of education because they can't afford to, to do jobs that they love. We've got to do better for our kids. And so we will walk out for our kids. And Monday, you predict how many people? Thousands. I mean, <laughs> I wish I had a crystal ball to figure it out, but um, 
but it will be something the likes of which we haven't seen in a long time. And busing in, do you think teachers will come in uh, individually? It just will depend. Absolutely. We've got a whole logistics plan with parking off-site, busing people in. Um, community members have rented buses for local teachers and support professionals to come in from all areas of the state. So um, it'll be an exciting day and we'll be talking to our legislators and letting them know politely and succinctly um, why we're at the Capitol. And we will be there. We'll have extended coverage on Monday as well. And we will be there and we'll be watching what will be another historic day here in Oklahoma. Absolutely. Alicia Priest, thank you for your time. We appreciate it. We know you're busy and we thank you for talking with everyone this morning. My pleasure.